righty, today is October 19th and we are headed back in where we hunted last night. We saw a couple really good bucks up in the alfalfa uh, in those big hay fields above the creek that we were kind of set up on last night. We hunted that observation set where we could see everything. And this morning my thought is, is to get way down in there and get a set um, hung to catch these deer coming back through there. I've scouted this place once last year. We found a pretty good shed during shed season. And there's a really good fence gap where about three fences kind of meet down in this corner. So um, with a north wind, it's a really good spot. It's probably going to be a spot that we hunt during November, but I'd just rather get it up, get it in there now than going in at noon or whatever and blowing all those deer out of there. So um, that's kind of our plan, hopefully to catch these deer coming back. Like I said, it's a really good spot. Kind of funnels all the deer right into one little, one little area. So we got a good wind. So... There's a bunch of standing beans up above the alfalfa that those deer were in last night. So that's kind of what my thought is, is to catch those deer coming back from those beans, probably through the alfalfa down to the creek to bed. So um, this is going to be the coldest it's going to be for the next probably four or five days. So I figured why the heck not? We'll give it a shot. So here we go. That's how you start the morning off right there, I guess. October 19th. Wasn't really our plan to come in here and kill a doe, but her wind kind of switched and she she was gonna get us and get out of here, so I don't really handle any does blowing at us, so I just as well do that before they start blowing. So got in here kind of late and had a pretty decent buck over my left shoulder in there right there at uh, first light. He was hitting a scrape, but nonetheless, uh, good doe tag filled. We're gonna settle in and see what happens. We brought the horns this morning, so might have to hit them together.
Well, it is about 10 o'clock and the deer movement has kind of slowed down a little bit here. I did bang the horns together a little bit and uh, never had anything come in. I had a couple buddies yesterday that rattled in a couple different bucks, so I thought maybe it'd work, but still a little early. It's only the 19th of October, so anyway, I think we ended up seeing probably 12 or 15 deer probably. Um, a good sit. I knew it would be a good sit. Like I was saying, uh, driving here in the truck, all these deer were feeding up above this last night. And you know, so my thought was to get in here and catch them coming back through here, which is exactly what we did. Um, you know, no sign of that big nine pointer, but I think that buck that I ended up seeing, uh, first thing we had some trail camera pictures of on top of the hill up there. I think he's a three year old, but definitely a solid eight pointer. Um, so we're gonna get down. It's a little bit after 10, so everything's probably already back to bed. Feels good though. It feels like a feels like the rut should be wide open. It's spitting snow and cold and dreary and just kind of one of those mornings that you think would be really good, but just not quite here yet. So anyway, we're gonna climb down, get that doe tagged up, get out of here. I'm not real sure where our plan is for this evening. We may just take a take a night or two off and uh Maybe be back in the tree Tuesday or Wednesday. I think Wednesday is supposed to be pretty warm, so not sure if we'll hunt then, but uh, keep checking back. We'll keep bringing these vlogs to you guys.